Hello there and welcome to my RNG campaign in Victoria 3. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. I did take some Flemish lessons about 15 years ago. RNG, uh, whatever it is. We are here and we are a post Boa state. We actually have uh, multiculturalism and total separation of church and state. It's uh, quite something, but this is how I'm trying to get the, uh, the Africans on my side to grow as a nation. GDP of 4.5 million is not so bad. It, the campaign has gone on for a bit. We're in 1870 now. I just want to show how far I have come. We uh, start off as here, of course. We took over Transvaal in a war after beefing up our own military through um, using gold mines to fund barracks. Eventually, we started colonizing. There is a colonizable area down here, and of course, this one here. They've expanded quite a bit. We also actually took over all of that one in, in uh, its entirety, and then over here and later on we did take over Zululand so we had a port so we can get into global trade which we've been doing pretty well with so far we uh, trying to raise our living standards by importing what we cannot currently build we're exporting quite a bit as well we have free trade though so everything is tariff which again helps our economy quite a bit right on here income taxes minting <laughs> of course 16.6 thousand a week and poll taxes there so it's, it's going pretty well. We're starting to, to uh, colonize out up here as well, but this is very slow. I'm trying to find all the tech I can and make it go a bit faster so I can try and beat, say, Great Britain to Matambele, Twazwana, Herero, and Namba. We have a couple of ports over here, and they, they have nothing in them at all, but I'm sure one day they will. That They have ports, so they're not cut off. They, uh, Transvaal has low market access, but... Um, it's just so much to build at the moment. I can't afford to have a uh, building depot and I'm trying to get stuff to increase the economy so I can get a building depot and then more mines. It's just, it's my first time playing as a small nation. I played of course as Brazil and I took over all of South America and became number one GDP nation in the world. I thought it'd be fun to try somewhere small and it's really been quite a hassle. I'm playing with lowest graphics as well. It, my PC does run the game fine until about 1900, where I find I have big issues with the speed, so I've just been keeping it on lows. It's still better than Victoria 2 was graphically, if and when you uh, zoom in it at low here. I just wanted to show what I've done so far. My goals are, if I could eventually become strong enough to take on Portugal, and then maybe um, Miranda over here, the... Uh, What's it called? Madagascar. If I could take over these, eventually it'd be nice, but I'm just trying to slowly get this to be decent. If I could get the economy up so I could do well. Everything's just at mid paying at the moment. I could go down, could go up. But we do we do have a fair few buildings. I'm trying to just make one of everything so we have at least some produce for our quality of life but it's it's really a struggle to build it here I think the way to go if you were to take a small place and make it sustainable would be to start to say Britain or France conquer it to put all of your wealth into developing that area and then releasing it as a uh, as a minor nation there but that would be cheating however I have noticed in this version that the uh, the British have managed to colonize Whereas before they didn't really do it at all, they just had a little bit. But even the United States now, and it's kind of ugly that they, they have down here, and these guys don't so much. But what really did used to annoy me is the Americans always taking up here, but now they just have a bit of Alberta. I'm sure as more and more versions come out, the colonization will get much less border gory, and it'll look nice. Good to see Canada united pretty pretty early, actually, in this campaign. Anyway, the thing that I'm trying to do here really is just build more and more. If we can get textile mills and then uh, furniture workshop probably should be quite up there. Then we can start having more of our own gear and we don't have to import so much. We can export a bit more and get a bit more money going on. Coal is just a shortage of everything. So we have five million people. Wait, that's GDP. We have two and a quarter million people. It's, it's really hard. We have had some immigration so far. If I go to uh, cultures, yeah, kind of definitely a Boer nation here. We saw by population, hey, Boer, they're, they're here, but we did have over 100,000 aboriginals come over from Australia, which is nice. No, um, no white folk 
just more animists. So it's quite an animist nation, especially when we have total separation. We could even just take a state uh, religion of animists, perhaps. I am not sure. Like, the Boers aren't even really in control of the government all the time. The current president is Jan van der Merwe, but the previous president was a uh, African fellow. Liberal Party and Radical Party. Not at all actually led by Boers, it looks like. Huh. Well, uh, there was a African gentleman in charge of the country for, for a bit. I'm trying to increase um, immigration. I think that switching from resettlement to exploitation might make it go faster. It, from what I'm reading here, it, it should do. That would be nice if we can just exploit as opposed to expand. Let's go on here. Ethics of exploitation. Well, I think it's a terrific thing. Uh, oof. Yeah. This one's less likely to do a negative, but this one's more likely to do double positive. And we just got simple positive, but oh well. Uh, plus 10% is, is still nice. As for our military, we have 30 barracks, and I did keep most of them in virus start. Just to try and move some of the population to these areas where I am, uh, what do you call it? Incorporated. I, it would take 20 odd years to incorporate Zululand, so I haven't actually bothered yet because it's just too bloody expensive with everything here. I'm spending all of my incorporation points on on trade and trying to keep the country afloat. I do have a few more available convoys though, so I will go ahead and import some extra furniture from the French market. That'll be nice. And some extra tools from nowhere and some extra clothes from, again, the French market. Very nice. Now help us a bit with the living standards, which are ever increasing. It's nice. If we could keep getting it up, then maybe more people would emigrate here. We, we're we not even the best place to live in Africa. You see the British Africa, French Africa. They're all doing much better, but I'm trying. Definitely trying. What is this here? Law and order, you say? Pointing to the rampant turmoil from radical activists in Viostart. The Conservative Party has campaigned on the platform of more policing. Well, I definitely can afford that, can't I? I think the Conservative Party's in power. Oh, shit. Well, neither is the Radical Party. Yes, they are. Okay, well, never mind. We might have uh, clicked the wrong option there, but oh well. Just wish we could uh, get some more economy going. I could, of course, raise taxes to pay for building supplies, but... I don't want civil war, and this is already a lot of my population who are a bit upset. And people will be less approving if I were to do such things around here. So I don't really want to cause that with such a small nation. I, I just want to slowly build it up, and then as soon as I can afford a uh, building spot, I will get it going, and I will start going through these uh, constructions a lot faster. But it's really not that much. I can um, build and have it on lower setting, but I'm paying several thousand to go from three constru uh, five construction to six, whereas if I were to have it on full and it would cost me all of my money plus some, it would it would only go up to plus nine. So this, this is why I've kept it here for most of the time, because I am still able to have a decent economy, but I have built it several times, because it only takes a couple of weeks to, to build, and knocked out some uh, buildings from there. I'm just not so certain with this. But the minting does keep increasing. However, despite the minting increasing, nothing else really has. So I'm not too sure what to do there. I could um, shrink the military, but I don't really want to do that either. It's, it's definitely something. Definitely something. Technology, population... What am I looking for? Oh, there we go. Colonial expansion. Excellent. This should help the growth a lot. Yes, I'm sure that wasn't at 10,000 days before, and I'm sure this is going a bit fast as well. Well, that'd be nice. An election, this is not great. I'm trying to uh, break the relations with Portugal, because I would, if I get the chance, like to go to war with them. I do have a bigger army. If somebody was to not get involved, I should be able to take uh, where whatever you would call this relatively easily and that would be a nice extension going up here would also be good because then I could start ca colonizing into these areas but for now not so sure 
I think though what I might do is build a um, construction sector and use my gold reserves here to build some more buildings. So let's go ahead and find that construction sector in wherever it's cheapest. Transport. They don't actually have the peasants for it though, and this isn't much more, so I'll build them in Zooland. Get them to work there. Go ahead and move it straight to the top, of course. So, wait, where is it? Ah, page two. Excellent. Move that to the start, and then we'll, uh, in 12 weeks, be able to get everything going. Actually, no, build this first. Build that first. Election, terrific. Let, let's um, see what legitimacy is 100%. Nice. Well, we'll keep that there then. What is this? Trade agreement. I'm not sure what other. A uh, between countries that eliminates tariffs and bureaucracy costs and trade routes between them. See, I'm making quite a bit of money from the um, tariffs, so I'm not going to accept that. I think getting rid of that and losing out on my tariffs will cost me a lot of my economy. Wait, I'm. Oh. Well, I have free trade, don't I? I just out myself as a moron. Okay, then, why not? Why not enter a trade agreement with the British? And I can always close it if it does negatively hit my country. Which I don't think it will. Um, did they accept it? Yes, I, I didn't see them accepting it, but they have accepted and it has not affected my economy negatively. Okay, great. I do actually have a lot more of these as well. I could disband one of the businesses, but I think I will not. Is that enough to... It is just about, but 21 years is taking the bloody piss. So I'm not sure I will press on that. Although there is such a huge tax base here. I can't do this until it has been completely um, colonized, which is not for some time. So I'm not going to bother there. Let's just wait on it because this is this is a lot of my um, a lot of my what's the word again? Bureaucracy. So I'm not going to spend 20 years incorporating Zululand. No. Okay, well, I'm glad my economy did not get negatively affected by that. And then when we do have the uh, construction sector here, then we can start pumping all of this money into construction. Now that the economy seems to have grown a relatively decent amount. There we are. Good. But also we did build the extra textile mill. Yes, we did. Great. Any upgrades I can do here? I can go up to crystal glass, but I would need lead. I don't have lead. So I'm just going to keep it straight on forest glass. As for ceramics, uh, goods produced. I don't actually have that building built yet, so let's not worry about it. Okay, perfect. Construction sector is... Ah, not actually turned on. Minus 4,000. That's too much. But here we are. That has to get us an extra t two points. It's... It's not good enough. It really is not. Employment is actually only at uh, half, but when it comes through, it's still... It's hard to justify spending my entire economy on, on these uh, building projects when... when I get so much for free anyway, but I have um, been on and off of it. I, I've built them, then turned them down, and then built them again. But this is, this is a very, very long time, and I'm not so keen on waiting that long to have some of these goods. My glass works, it's still not built, got more gold mines to go. It is a struggle. However, this is not tanking my economy there. I'm rather confused why it hasn't, but it did every other time. And oh well. We have the supplies here, maybe... Maybe one of the buildings I've built has given me the input I need now, so it's not... Yeah, I do have iron mines. Do I have uh, wood? I do. I have lots of wood, in fact. Okay, very nice. Maybe that is why it's not tanking the economy all the way down. It would be nice to get more bloody trade partners as well, but nobody wants any of my stuff. Oh, well, that's a, that's a positive. We'll get stuff built a lot faster now. 
as for as for this video, I think it has run its course. I'm going to end it here, and I'll uh, make another video in another generation, perhaps. If something kicks off, then if I do get the opportunity to go to War of Portugal, I'll start a video then. But otherwise, I'll just uh, play off camera and I'll do another update video later on in the campaign. Oh, look, there's my comic tank again. Hey, thank you guys for watching. I, I hope you are enjoying Victoria Free yourselves. I've been enjoying it quite a lot. Of course, I did a Brazilian campaign, which you can check out on the channel. It's it's just a 10 minute summary video, but it, it shows what went on there. We took over all of South America and number one GDP and pretty big population. Anyway, I'll see you guys, uh, see you guys then. Hope you've enjoyed checking this out. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.